TV Book Club with Specsavers. The Junior Officers Reading Club is actually just a story of my five years in the army. The club itself was me and my mates out in Iraq, bored, trying to cope with the heat and the dust by having a bit of normality behind our tent and just swapping books and gossiping and missing home. The book deliberately starts with me in Afghanistan having a fight for the first time. You know, everything that you've trained to do as a soldier builds up to that moment where someone is shooting at you and you've got to shoot back and, and, and that's the sort of most old-fashioned form of fighting there is. And that just, I think it just blew everyone's socks off. I think from the 42-year-old guy who'd been in the army for 22 years but had never seen anything like it to the 19-year-old kid who'd been in the army six months and whose eyes were out on stalks but just a kind of roller coaster of seven months. I, for a long time after coming back from Afghanistan, wanted to go straight back. You know, you feel like you've got unfinished business. You had friends who got injured. You lost friends out there, and you think this was still something to do. And there's a, a process by which you kind of come back into normality. And writing the book was a brilliant way of doing that for me because it sort of allowed me to kind of filter through everything that I've been through. Well, it's an unusual book, this, isn't it? Because uh, we all think we know a lot about Afghanistan and soldiering because we've seen embedded sort of reporters reporting on it. But, but he tells a remarkable tale, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, it, what, what I found absolutely amazing was, first of all, his grasp of detail. Thank goodness he did a little asterisk and explanations at the bottom of the page. He's got a brilliant mind. But what I found really, really fascinating is why should young men, privileged men like he is, uh, <clears throat> not wanting to die, be not only willing, but wanting to go into a kill or be killed situation. It's not the kind of book that I would ever have picked up no. to read. But I'm will. so well, glad. Well, I don't think it's necessarily a man or a woman's book. It's just not. I'm not a military enthusiast, and I think. But I'm so glad that I read it. I don't think the military will like it at all, to be honest, because <laughs> mm. I think it's far too kind of honest. It's too honest. I think they want kind of heroic reports of kind of daring yeah. doing. And actually, that's why it's an important book, and I yeah, think you've I just think put your is. finger it's on that. Of, we, need this, we need books like this to remind us, actually, of what lies beneath the jargon. Yeah. It's, it's verbatim and it's personal history, and I think that's what good literature's about. Yeah. yeah. The TV Book Club with Specsavers.